Hello, my name is Robin Ostedt and uh, this is the first video of uh, my submarine project. Uh, these, uh, in front of me you see the parts of uh, um, the first prototype for a ballast tank. Um, I've basically 3D printed all the parts um, and how it will work is that I've bought this uh, syringe I've attached a little rubber tube to it and the original uh, what are they called? rod, I don't know uh, <clears throat> I've removed the rubber uh, seal on it and I've, I've, I've essentially I've designed my own attachment to it. Uh, this part was quite difficult to print and get it good, but uh, it works and it seems rigid enough. Uh, I have attached the rod that came with the motor. This rod will not be in the final product because it's uh, way too short, as you can see. Um, I'm waiting for a longer rod. These come in a very odd uh, standard. They don't follow either imperial or metric um, normal threads. It's essentially an M5, but it has a um, one millimeter um, uh, distance between the threads, and uh, they also have. Uh, it's essentially two revolutions. Well, sorry. I mean, it's, it's it's essentially a helix because it's like if you go one revolution around it, you will uh, traverse two millimeters or two steps. Um, so these were kind of hard to find. I'm, uh, yeah, eBay was the only place I could find it basically from China. Um, <clears throat> so here is where the motor will be attached to back here and it will drive this piston that's the name for it uh, into the cylinder and I also have this little switch here which I've soldered which will attach right here uh, so that I can zero it. Uh, after that, because it's a stepper motor, I can keep track of where it is, so I don't, uh, so I can have very precise control of how much the tank is filled. So essentially, this tube will attach to the outside, and it will draw the piston out, essentially sucking in water. Um, and then push it out to push the water out. Uh, so this will essentially replace the entire volume of the syringe, uh, essentially 100 milliliters. So that's uh, an equivalent of 100 grams of displacement. Displacement, uh, and essentially like uh, change the density of the entire submarine. Um, Okay, so I'll get uh, right back at you when I have uh, constructed some of the parts. Okay, so I've now attached a little switch. And it goes out this channel here. And this will be covered later. And the motor. So the next part is essentially is to attach this. So, as you can see, when this is um, driven down, uh, this big plastic piece here will contact with the switch. Then, 
we will take the whole thingamajig, push it over. Uh, actually, let me get something first. So, uh, yeah, I bought this recently, some uh, universal grease. Uh, the idea is essentially that this grease will be uh, uh, water uh, repellent, essentially. So I'll fill these grooves here, uh, and in the hopes that small amounts of trace water. I've already tested this, that it can take quite a lot of pressure uh, and not much water goes through, but I don't want, like, if there's a small, because of misalignment or whatever, like small trace amounts of water, I don't want that to, like, uh, simmer through, you know, like, very small amount of quantity because it will essentially build up moisture inside of the submarine because the the whole benefit of this system of a piston uh, controlled ballast tank is essentially that it's a sealed uh, it's a con completely sealed system it doesn't like utilize any pumps or anything you have a a very controlled uh, wall between the water and the air and because of that to mitigate any water getting in we'll add this as well just to uh, make it a little bit more um, resistant to water getting through okay uh, grease is applied okay I'll close that later uh, maybe a little bit excessive but we'll see uh, Worst case scenario, I'll have to just use a tremendous amount of soap to get it off. Well, at least I will be learning something. Okay. That. Okay. That seems to work okay. Maybe I should have used more. I don't know. And the next step, okay, let's, let's see if I can get this right. This will essentially clamp it down. So this needs to go right over like this. Okay, let's screw this on. All right, now that's done. So, uh, all that remains now is I'll attach this on the other side is to clamp it down and this whole thing will be held together with uh, M8 rods going through these holes here and uh, essentially clamp the whole system together and eventually other components will be <clears throat> to the left and to the right of it or rather behind and in front of it and the whole system will be these bulkheads uh, running along these four rods and then everything essentially um, should be able to slide into a PVC pipe um, specifically I've used uh, I'm gonna use um, VVS pipes or you know for sewer uh, stuff because they're cheap and they're reasonably tight and easy to assemble. Um, so yeah, uh, in the next video uh, I will uh, connect it all up, uh, essentially this and uh, uh, the motor to an Arduino and a, a little speed controller and uh, test the system out. Uh, and also probably assemble the other parts. Yeah, we'll see. See you in the next video.